for Alkirke, you do not need an elaborate wooden board. This cloth board was gifted to me many years ago at a local SCA event. And while I get the board set up, let me tell you a little bit more about Alkirke. Alkirke was first mentioned in the 10th century in the Book of Songs. It was known as Kirikat, which is its Arabic name. It was later documented in Libro de los Juegos in 1283. It was commissioned by Alfonso X of Castile, which is in Spain. As you can see, I am putting all of the clear on one side of the board and then all of the blue on the opposite side of the board. And you want to keep the center space empty. Now you can flip a coin to see who goes first, clear or blue. In this instance, I will just go ahead and start with blue. And you want to move your piece to an empty circle. If there is a piece in your way and you're able to hop like you would in modern checkers, then you can take your opponent's piece. But I'll get more into that in a minute. So right now, blue is starting. Blue can only move here or move here. Blue can also move this piece or that piece, but any of these pieces, it can only go into the center. So to start things off, blue has moved. Now it is clear's turn. Clear can move from here and hop over into that space right here and then take that blue. The other option clear has, clear can also move from here to here. You want to make sure you follow the lines. For example, this clear cannot go into this space because there is no line. To keep the game simple, I'm going to go ahead, clear hops over, and takes blue. Now it is blue's turn. Blue hops over, takes clear. And now it's clear's turn. Clear has many options. Clear can move here, clear can move there, clear can go here here, here. The thing you want to remember is if you, for example, say clear moves here, now that opens it up for blue to take clear. And the object of this game is to take all of the pieces that belong to your opponent while not dying yourself. So to keep it simple though, I will show you. So clear has moved, now blue has moved, and taken a second piece. Now it's Clear's turn. Clear can move, and then blue can move. Clear moves, blue moves, clear moves. Now if you notice, I moved clear there. That opens this clear up for that blue to take that clear. So blue moves, takes clear. And now clear can hop over and take that blue. Blue moves. Clear moves. And as you can see, I've opened it up. Blue can now take clear. Now with this clear, if I don't move this one, this blue can also take that clear. But if I move that clear here, then this blue can then take that clear. Either way, this clear is definitely in jeopardy of being lost. So I can move clear here, and then I've blocked both of those from happening. I move blue. I move clear. I move blue. I move clear. I move blue, I move clear, I move blue, I move clear, I move blue, I move clear, 
I move blue, I move clear. I move blue, I move clear. I move blue, and I move clear. I move blue, and I move clear. I move blue, I move clear. I move blue, and I move clear. I move blue, and this is, as you can see, where it starts to get exciting because you're now limited on what you can do. I move blue, and I move clear. I move blue, I move clear, I move blue, and I move clear. And as you can see, I'm running out of pieces. I now have three clear, and I have two blue. Again, the object of the game is to take all of your opponent's pieces. And so if you take all of your opponent's pieces, like for example, we fast forwarded the game and clear has two on the board, blue has none, blue has lost the game. But just the same, if we fast forward the game and say we're down to just two pieces, then you can call it a draw because otherwise you might be sitting here chasing each other all over the board. And so to finish up this game, blue will move, clear takes blue, blue moves, clear takes blue, and clear has won the game. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Keep an eye out for future videos where I will be explaining how to play other historic games. If you enjoyed this video, please select thumbs up that you liked it. And as always, please subscribe.